So I thought I would show you how I package and ship records. I'm going to start with some bubble wrap and I'm going to be pausing this and starting and pausing and starting because I don't have a tripod to stand my camera on at the moment. Um, but this record you can see is already in a generic sleeve so I'm going to leave it in the sleeve. If this were not in the generic sleeve, if it were in an album, I would actually take it out and put it in a generic sleeve before I start the shipping process. So my first step is to wrap it with some bubble wrap. I'm gonna do that now. So I find that four squares of bubble wrap works perfect for, um, this is like a 10 inch uh, acetate record. So it works perfectly. You can see I can fold over this one, fold over this one, and it just barely covers it. And then I'll tape this one down and I'll fold over the bottom and the top the same way so that I have at least two full layers of bubble wrap all the way around. Okay, with that part done, I'm actually gonna cut a piece of a 14 by 14 by 12 box. I'm going to cut out one entire side of it and then I'm going to use that to wrap this. Okay, you can see that I have the side of a small box including the flaps um, and I'm going to cut it and score it with this. I got this tool from uh, Lonnie at, at Shed Flips and this scoring tool on the end is the stuff. I'm telling you, this scoring tool is awesome. I use this absolutely every day. It's just a regular box cutter. But the addition of this little end to score with is awesome. So you can see that I don't quite need the full 14 inches. So I'm going to cut a couple of inches off actually from this edge over here before I start folding in the sides. What seems to work perfectly on these boxes is to score it right on this green line when I'm starting. So I'm going to do that next. So now that my box is scored, you can see this nice little score line there. Then I can fold this up and I have a nice pocket to put this um, record inside. So I'm going to put that inside and then I'm going to score the other side as well. So once I have this side scored, I can literally just fold it up. I scored two lines on it. So I can fold it up and I have a nice little package. So let me tape this down here. And then I'm going to do another piece of this box the exact same way going the opposite direction. So you can see I have another side of the box now. I'm gonna cut this same edge off like I did before and score it and I will actually turn this over this time so that the pieces that meet together will meet on the back side of it. <clears throat> so it gives it just a little bit of extra protection on each side. So I have my packet here. I'm going to lay it down along this fold line and I'm going to score it just a little bit under this green line. Um, I'm going to try to do this one handed. I don't know if this will work or not. Um, it's not going to work. Obviously you have to make this score line just a little bit larger because now you have layers of cardboard as well as the record and the bubble wrap. So I kind of do it by eye. I've done it enough, enough times. You can see it's about a finger width from that green line. And I usually use those green lines as my guides. So now you can see I have a great little packet and I'm actually going to do one more layer uh, and then pinch these edges together and tape them. And I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. So you can see this makes a nice neat package. I'm gonna tape it up a little bit more, obviously. And then I usually put the label over this thing. Nothing's gonna go through there, but just so that the customer doesn't see that and feel like the box is, boxing is inferior. This works just as well as an expensive record box. And this is literally three flaps from a uh, 14 by 14 by 12 box. And actually this flap, the last one that I put on, was not even a complete flap because I had used one of the little flaps already. So it was like the middle of the side and one flap. So it's not quite um, as, as long, but you can see I've got 
three layers of box on this side, two layers of box on this side, and then an extra little bit of box at the corners for protection. So I'm gonna finish taping this up uh, and I'll show you the final product in just a moment. And here you have the finished pro product, except without a label, put the label right here. I always try to throw on a thank you, thank you sticker, put a fragile label on both sides, but it's just a nice square neat package. And I feel like there's no reason to have to special order record boxes or to, um, you know, pay extra money when you can literally use a part of a 14 by 14 by 12 box from Walmart. This is how I've always shipped records. I've never had a problem with them getting broken. And in fact, one guy on his feedback said he thought that my packaging could take a bullet. So I was pretty impressed with that, uh, especially since he was not necessarily a happy customer. He's the only negative feedback I've ever received and he actually tried to do some feedback extortion and so uh, eBay ended up taking it down. But yeah, that's it. That is how I pack and ship records. And I do the same exact thing if it's a 12 by 12 record or if it's a seven by seven, you know, a seven inch record or a 12 inch record. I do exactly the same thing no matter what size. Um, with these, I don't put them like in a plastic bag usually unless they're the smaller records um, because I don't carry bags that size. I find that with the um, having several layers of box around it, also having the bubble wrap around it, it unless there was like a major flood and it was floating away, it's going to be moisture protected. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed how to pack a record.